Okay, this is our video walk around of our 1994 38 foot Monaco Executive Motorhome. Comes with the 8.3 liter Cummings turbo diesel, about 97,000 miles on the rig. Uh, Allison six speed automatic transmission, uh, large awning with the material in very good shape. The uh, metal covers really protect the fabric, uh, large rear view mirror. Obviously a huge uh, cockpit window, uh, high-low beam, fog lights, backup lights, and a uh, spotlight uh, that you can steer um, up on the roof. Uh, the roof's been painted about four or five years ago. It's a fiberglass roof, as are the sides. Paint shows well. Some of the pinstripe's been hand-touched up, but it, it still shows real well. It shows shows uh, like almost new, in fact. Um, Alcoa aluminum wheels all the way around. It's the back of the rig showing the full span mud flap to help uh, protect any towed vehicles. Class 4 hitch I believe. Um, the uh, windows are tinted. Again all the awnings have the metal cover. Rear view mirror uh, that's the hatch for the motor. And uh, uh, more backup lights at the tail end of the rig and showing the uh, the driver's side. Um, I'll go back and, and show it from the other side where we can get past that, that wagon. Uh, here we are in the back, that's the motor, uh, radiator, all brand new rubber all the way around, brand new tires, hose storage, water and, and uh, hose there. That's the exhaust for the, um, the heater and that's your garage. I'll show that from the other side, fuel filler. And this is a pull-out drawer. We stow all our extra hose and cable in there and some tarps and whatnot. Uh, it's on a roller, so it's real easy to pull it out, gain access to everything. And it's on the uh, lift uh, door and with a real positive locking mechanism so it won't go flying up on, when you're underway. Again, all, uh, six brand new tires. So those are very, very expensive. I don't know if you ever priced them, but uh, yeah, that's a chunk of change. That was a bus uh, compartment for all your electrical connections, three cylinder Kohler 50 amp generator with a glow plug and remote start up in front and a bunch of other remote starts throughout the rig. This is that compartment I was uh, buzzed by earlier showing the 50 amp connection, your black water out, fresh water in, sewer hose storage and whatnot. Uh, and the, Passenger side, you can see the compartments are open for the garage and the propane tank, the stairs fold away, or you can lock them open if you want. Um, switch light up there and a motion sensitive solar powered light, uh, very handy. And the garage goes all the way through, the door opens on the other side, except that the fence was in the way. That compartment there holds your uh, electrical charging and inverter at your water heater. And the compartment back there is the uh, the battery compartment that uh, the door folds up. All brand new house batteries and starter battery, uh, six volt Trojans. That's the lid open for the engine compartment. Again, 8.3 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Backup camera shows very clear on the dash. Zoom in here and we'll show some new parts, including a brand new uh, alternator idler uh, tension uh, tensioner on a brand new serpentine belt and another belt crank going uh, with a new belt going up to the brand new AC compressor and hoses. Dash air blows very very cold and uh, you got some electrical outlets and switches in the back uh, with various gauges. That's a fuel filter. It's brand new but it's been spray painted. I'm not sure why. Anyway that's your uh, water overflow for the radiator and uh, air filter hose right there. Reservoir for your hydraulic fluid and power takeoff belt and uh, pump right there for the hydraulic pump. Um, this is showing one of the leveler legs in the down position, so that's, uh, that's what that uh, drive is for. Here in a second, I'm gonna uh, uh, stop talking and let you listen to the motor startup after a couple of days, and you'll get to see uh, what it sounds like. Hang on one second, I'll get that started for you. Okay, here we go.
Okay, the rig's for sale. Call Jeff, 714-392-6435. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.